If you've ever watched an episode of WWE Monday Night Raw, chances are you've heard a theme song by the man known as Jim Johnston. Well, today, after 32 years of working for the WWE, Jim Johnston has left. He decided not to renew his contract and he will no longer be employed by the WWE. Now, there's a lot that goes into developing characters, whether it's their name, their outfits, or, which I think is one of the most important things, that is their theme song. Because right when that theme song hits, the character walks out of that curtain and you know exactly who's coming down that ramp to get in that ring. And whether it's Stone Cold Steve Austin with the glass break or Vader, it's time, it's time. Jim Johnston has done it all. He's been there for 32 years, one of the most important people in all of WWE, and he is no longer employed. There's a Twitter account called the Themers United Team, and they were all about highlighting Jim Johnston and his theme songs. So they actually put out a press release, which I thought was very awesome, and I wanted to read that off. They said on Thursday, November 30th, 2017, WWE has released Jim Johnston. It is with great sadness that we can confirm WWE has released composer Jim Johnston deciding not to renew his contract that expired today. This was a forced release as Jim was very keen to keep working with the company he has tirelessly served for 32 years. In further news, our sources in New York confirmed that the removal of Jim from the company had been the ongoing wish of Neil, John, and Michael for some time. Jim still had influence on certain aspects of WWE musical output, even though CFO Money had been the main composer for Superstar Entrance theme since 2012. John and Michael wanted to totally overhaul WWE's musical output and replace all Jim Johnson's creations with their own. Knowing Jim's departure was on the cards, they already started remaking Jim's music, with Kane's theme being the first instance of this occurring. Therefore, you can expect all of Jim's music to be remade or replaced entirely in due course. Our contact also confirmed Jim was the person who spearheaded the Uncaged series. With Jim Johnson no longer working for WWE, the Uncaged series will not continue. Themers United was aware that Jim's release was imminent, so attempted to try and show how beloved Jim was with our recent polls and creation of this Twitter account. It appears though, unfortunately, our efforts have been in vain. Regards, the Themers United team. Now that's a very sad statement that Jim Johnston is no longer employed and it looks like people didn't want him to be in the company anymore, but that's the way business works. You get the old guy who's been there for 32 years. The company has to find a younger, hungrier guy to take his place and take his spot and that's what happened with CFO Money. I'm not gonna say that CFO Money is awful at creating music because I like some of the stuff he does, but you can't replace a legend in the business like Jim Johnston. Now I just hope that WWE decides to put him in the Hall of Fame. He deserves it. Anyway guys, that's where I'm gonna leave you today. Let me know what you think about Jim Johnston no longer working for WWE, and let me know what was your favorite Jim Johnston song. As always, I'm Tony Beats Guy. We'll check you later. Make sure you smash that like button if you enjoy this. We'll see you in another video.